What's up guys? Thanks so much for stopping by the channel. My name's Timothy and today I'm coming at you with another video as part of the DJI Mavic Pro series that I've got going on right here on the YouTube channel. I just wanted to take a second to say thank you for subscribing and for all the support that you guys have given. It's been fantastic. Just yesterday I posted a thank you for 500 subscribers and somehow already today we're over 600. Just climbing daily and that is so so awesome so thank you guys for the support uh, it really means a lot to me as I'm putting a lot of time and energy into these videos to try to help you guys get the most out of your new DJI Mavic Pro so with all that said if you're excited for today's episode hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get into the video so today I'm gonna be talking about active tracking mode on the DJI Mavic Pro basically what this mode enables you to do is to draw a small um, rectangle around an object be that a person or a vehicle or whatever and then the software based on on I don't actually know all the technology involved in it but somehow it captures that actual object or person and keeps the drone following and tracking that object no matter where it goes there are several ways to do this um, it has the ability to use the front facing sensors on it in order to avoid obstacles um, but today I have come out into uh, just a big wide open field there's a road uh, down below me here and my wife's in the car and so she's gonna drive down this road uh, and around some turns and just through a neighborhood here uh, and we're gonna try the tracking out on it I'm gonna keep the altitude high enough that it won't hit any obstacles I know that it will do it but I don't want to test it and so for me the obstacle avoidance system is there as a safety not as something I want to rely on if that makes sense so I want to do my part in keeping the drone out of danger um, I have picked a subdivision where there's no um, power lines up above uh, all the power is underground here and so everything should be clear we're gonna take it up above the trees here and just track this car as we go all right so let's go ahead and enable active tracking in the app all we're going to do is you can see this is the app and the controller uh, there's my wife in the car we're gonna hit the icon here we're gonna hit active track and then we're gonna just draw a quick rectangle or square around that vehicle it's gonna focus in you see the camera actually moved there and put that in the center of the frame it identifies that it's a car a vehicle we're gonna hit OK and now it's ready to track and she's going to take off and drive it. I'm not going to do anything. You can see it tracking. The vehicle, again, I'm not touching any of the joysticks here. And it is just perfectly keeping it in the frame the whole time. I'm going to move the camera angle up just a hair to kind of get a little bit of a more reveal around this shot there just going to slow down take a turn let's track it around this corner you can see it's actually adjusting the gimbal as well at the same time to keep it all in the shot so everything's working just perfectly driving down the road going about 30 miles an hour right now all right so there you saw just tracking really slowly along a path not really doing any altitude changes this time we're gonna have my wife drive it faster uh, and see how well it does in tracking it so same thing again I'm going to draw a small box around it it's gonna see it we're gonna hit OK uh, and away we go So she's taken off a lot faster this time, but you can see it's still keeping up. Uh, I am not in sport mode right now. And so this is just basic normal operating mode. Uh, but as she jumped off to about 45 miles an hour there, kept everything just fine. See how it manages on this turn. It's using the gimbal to keep it in the shot. Doing just fine. I'm actually going to adjust the altitude of hair here. And with the left joystick, just bring it down some as this shot goes right there. Perfect. So she's gonna turn back around here. We're gonna move the camera. 
She is still going pretty fast, but it's going to keep it tracking the whole time. And off we go. Still keeping it inside the frame. Just barely. It's getting ahead of it. There's the turn. Still doing great. Even passing other vehicles, like the one parked on the road there, it's maintaining that tracking. Perfect. All right, so this next shot, I'm actually going to use the slider on the screen in order to allow the drone to pan around the subject. As it's moving, it's going to maintain tracking, uh, and it's just going to move sort of in a circular motion around the vehicle. Let's check this out. All right, so we're going to hit OK on the active track. It's going to square it up, and then I'm going to actually just slide this slider here, and you'll see... that the camera is going to offset and move. Okay. So it's going to circle around. And again, I'm not doing anything here with the joysticks, but the drone is doing all the work, making that smooth, perfectly silky pan, circling, orbiting all around the shot while tracking a moving target. So guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it's been helpful uh, in order to just enable you guys to get the best shots you can out of your Mavic Pro. Certainly this active tracking feature is so cool uh, and it's really going to open up the doors for some really incredible cinematic footage uh, that you guys can get straight out of the box when you're getting your Mavic Pro from DJI. So thanks for watching today guys. I'd appreciate if you would hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel because this is an on going series. I've got every single uh, function and feature of this drone that I'm going to be covering um, and that's where I need your help. The response yesterday that you guys gave was fantastic but I need you to keep it up. So in the comments below please leave a comment tell me what you guys want to see in the Mavic Pro series that I'm making. Uh, what do you want the drone to uh, show off? How can I help you guys get better footage? So let me know in the comments below. That would be awesome. So thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.